Hey, Luis. <laughs> As I imagine, one of the first ones, huh? Good evening, teacher. Oh, good evening. Did you have a good weekend, Luis? No. Hmm. Let me check. Nothing, Luis? No. Let me see. Okay. 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 And, and you, and you, okay, good, thank you. But, uh, Okay. Okay. And you hear me? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. Hello, Guadalupe. I, hear you. I, I don't hear you. Hello, Guadalupe. Guadalupe. Guadalupe, can you hear me? I, I, I don't hear you. I, I don't know what happened with your computer, teacher. Yeah, let me uh, check. Guadalupe, can you hear me? Guadalupe. Guadalupe, do you hear the teacher? Guadalupe, can you hear me? I can. Yeah, I'm not sure. Guadalupe.
I'm trying to connect. Guadalupe. Guadalupe. Ahí está Nuri. Nuri, how are you? Good evening. Nuri. Nuri, can you Nuri, hear me? Turn around, turn around your... Yes, teacher. I can hear you. Nuri, you can hear me? Yes. So the yes. problem... Okay. So the problem is with Luis's... Yeah, and at this moment I, I can hear you, uh, Professor. Ah, now you can yeah. hear me, Liz. Yeah, I can hear now <laughs> in this moment. Okay, so something on the computer, right? <laughs> no, maybe my computer, but I oh. don't know. Okay. Uh huh, yeah, right. The, the important is we, we fix the problem. There we go. Yeah, good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Hello, Nuri. Hello, Ivania. Luis. Uh, welcome back. I hope you are ready for the last week of class. Yes. It's amazing. Only four days. Uh, remember this week, we have class on Friday because no class on Wednesday. Okay. Uh, yeah. That, that day. Mm -hmm. that, exactly. That day. Wednesday go, is the day of the year, and that's it. Oh, oh, how, how do you, how do you say Good night. Good night. Good night. Yes, Sorry, teacher. Uh -huh. Sorry, teacher. My my computer computer don't work. Oh. I I use my iPhone. No my problem. Cell phone, excuse me. That's okay. That's okay. We were trying to figure out the volume that the if you could hear us or not. No problem. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, guys, um, we are ready to finish off this week. We are looking at our writing section. If you remember from last week, we are starting off already with the writing. We have how the questions are and what, what we have to worry about. How do we answer the best way to get the most points? So we're going to review one more time. What is the independent writing? and how it functions. So that way we can get good scores on the exam. Welcome to the last section of this course, the writing section. Here we'll study independent writing question two. We'll tell you what it is and what is expected from you. As always, you will have time to practice and to take the writing test. Good luck. So yes, we are beginning, we are clear, we are ready for the writing part. Here, we're going to learn what does it have? What do we need to have? This is question number two and how they score it. Let's move on now to the last section of this course, the writing section. We'll go over writing question two, the independent writing question. We will see how the question is structured, how to approach the question, how your response is score, and we'll give you some tips for improving your writing skills. So here's generally what question two will look like. For this task, you're presented with a question and you have 30 minutes to write your response. There's no maximum length for your essay, but a good response is usually at least 300 words. So what is the question asking you to do? Question structure, 30 minutes, 300 or more words. The independent writing question will ask your opinion on an issue. So often you'll get a question such as, do you agree or disagree? Which would you prefer? Or do you support or oppose this idea? Question structure, your opinion on an issue. Do you agree or disagree? Which would you prefer? Do you support or oppose this idea? Use specific reasons and examples. Approach tips. 
Make an outline. Some people like to travel with a companion. Other people prefer to travel alone. Which do you prefer? Don't memorize. Scoring criteria. A scored zero to five. Development, organization, language use. Before the test, make sure you understand what the raters are looking for and how each question is scored. The essay in the writing section will each be given an overall score from zero to five. For question two, the independent writing question, the raters are looking for three main things. All right, let me go back because it's that part wasn't clear. What are the things that they're looking for? Yes, they're trying to score you, but here, they're trying to get, you get more points for how well you address the topic, your details, how big, how, how detailed you have, the examples, and then of course, the reasons that support your ideas. They don't care about your ideas. Your ideas are your opinion. There is no right or wrong for your opinion but you need to be able to be able to defend your opinion, support your statements, and give examples why you feel that your idea is the correct one. That's the most important part. Question, teacher. Yes, tell me. Uh, how, what is the meaning of how address the topic that, that says that, the, that one is like? Let's take a look. The next, yeah, the number one, how well you address the topic. What did they mean that? Ah, excellent question, Luis. How well you address the topic means is how clear and direct you are about the topic. So if we are talking about, I don't know, um, forms of transportation and you're addressing how you well you address the topic is how much do you know about the topic? How... Mm -hmm. How much you expand? Is it only limited? Do you only talk about, for example, transportation for land? Do you talk about animals? Do you talk, this is the idea, is the expansion of the topic and how well do you know about it? Knowledge. Your knowledge. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you can use, according to recent studies, uh, people have determined, ah, okay, so then this demonstrates that you know a lot about the topic or uh, you have information about it okay 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 good here's some tips for organizing you want to write in paragraphs you want to use transitions support the topic and you want to avoid repeating the same thing so when you write in paragraphs the idea is you should organize yourself as uh, if it's about your opinion, why you are for it. The second opinion, what is why you are against it. And then the third, uh, the third paragraph is uh, what is your final ideas or what is your summary of it? So always try to organize it. You don't want to write only sentences. The sentences do not give you a lot of points. You have to think about writing in paragraphs, in structures in separating ideas and having main topics, supporting ideas. Just like in Spanish, when you had essays, these are the ideas for you, for your writing. You see, then we have the sent, as far as language use, the idea is what are you talking about? How long is your sentences? Short sentences, long sentences, a mix, all of the different things about those. Then also we want to see the word choices, the vocabulary, the grammar. Do you use um, mixed tenses? Only Do you only use past tense, only present tense? Those are the ideas for it as well. Mm -hmm. Skill building tips. Read opinion essays and write about them. Time yourself and plan. Write and revise in 30 minutes. Learn how to find and correct grammar mistakes. Remember, when you practice, you may find that you're making the same kind of grammar mistakes over and over. So learn how to correct them. Then, when you write your essay, leave a few minutes to go back and make those corrections. Now, this is important because never you want to have the maximum amount of time. 
you always want to leave a little bit of time to review your work, to check your work. Now, you have a lot of time for writing. Imagine, Nuri, you have 30 minutes for writing. 30 minutes. It's a long time. There is no reason, no reason you should not have minimum 300 words. Ah, you say, but teacher, how is 300 words? 300 words is almost, almost a complete page when you write it. Okay, it's going to be a little bit more than half, a little bit less than the end. It's about three quarters. This is about 300 words. If you are making it in a Word document, in the Word, like with one, sp uh, two spaces and everything, is more than, is one complete page. So 300 words, it's a lot of writing, but it's not, like, it's not impossible in 30 minutes. It's not impossible. The only is, that you need to focus in your writing. No, uh, I'm thinking, I'm analyzing. No, you begin writing, thinking about all of the things that you want to say. Today, we're going to be practicing a little bit of this. But first, before we begin, what are the things that you can get points on? Well, excellent. The first thing is, remember, it's opinion. It's opinion. The best way is organize your paragraphs. The first paragraph, the second paragraph, the ideas, uh, the final paragraph the introduction, the conclusion, the body, right? So it's just a little bit more formal writing because it's not very form, It's not very common for most people to write. It's not normal in the job to have to write big essays. Normally, you send WhatsApp. Normally, you write emails that are short, things like this. But today, we're going to be looking at a few examples of how to improve it and make longer writings, okay? Here, uh, Nuri, can you please read the instructions? Okay, In instruction, read the question below. You have 30 minutes plan, write and re re revise. Revise? Revise your essay. He say, typical and effective response contain a minimum 300 words. Make sure you write them and send and send them to your instructor in order to him or her to check them for you. Okay. Now, listen, minimum 300. This means no, I, 300, uh, 289. No, the minimum <laughs> is 300. You should not be less than 300. You should be thinking, oh, I want more points. I'm going to do I, my objective is 350 words. This is the idea. No look for the minimum because in the minimum, you are going to get the minimum score. Okay. So it's long. You have time to organize, create your ideas, create the outline. Think about how are you going to write it. But one thing that is very important is always, always leave a few minutes, three, four minutes at the end always have time to go back and check. Ah, I forgot my period. Ah, I forgot the capital letter. Oh, I forgot to space. Because you are graded. You are graded in everything. You are graded in the correct writing. You are graded in spelling, punctuation, grammar, usage, vocabulary, uh, length of sentences. Everything is taken into account. So you need to make sure that always you have time, like a teacher, you go back and let me check my work. Let go back and let me see if it's okay. Are you ready? Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay. okay. We have two writing exercises. We're gonna start with the first one. Yes, it's, it takes time. Yes, you have to write is long. The best way is to write it and then put it in a Word document or put it in a place that way you can easily send it. Okay, let's read the question number one. Remember, all about if you agree or if you don't agree. Okay, uh, Guadalupe, can oh no, Guadalupe is on the cell phone. That's right, Ivania. Ivania, can you please read the question? Okay, the best teacher. Ah, the question. Sorry, <laughs> do you agree or disagree with the following statement? Uh, the best teacher is one who is very 
knowledge well knowledge plus knowledgeable uh, mm -hmm. how did you knowledgeable knowledgeable okay knowledgeable about the subject matter matter or matter no 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 matter matter, matter. okay mm -hmm. matter. use a specific reasons and examples to support your answer so exactly that you have to think about it we're going to start together don't worry first imagine you are creating we are creating the outline how would be the best way to create the different paragraphs remember you don't want to only begin writing that's it you need to create paragraphs what would be a good way to organize your ideas what would be the main ideas for each paragraph Let's look at the question one more time. That way you can tell me. Don't begin writing. We're going to think about it. The best teacher is the one who is very knowledgeable about the matter, about the subject matter. Do specific reason and examples to support your answer. This means you can agree or you can disagree with this statement. But whatever decision you make, you need 300 words explaining why yes or why no or why both. Why sometimes yes, sometimes no, or how important is each activity. Then you need to use vocabulary and context to explain for you what if it's not the knowledge, what is the most important thing about being the best teacher. We're going to work in pairs. That way we can help each other if you need vocabulary, if you need something. The most important is try, try not, try not to look in Google. Try not to look in the dictionary. Try not to look in the translation. Because when you have the exam, you don't have the access. You don't have Google Translator. You don't have spell check. You don't have, only you have, the system is blocked and only what you write. And you have to know if it's correct or not. If you need to, okay, but only because you say, ah, I'm going to study this later. I'm going to look for this word later. I'm going to write it down because it's for my vocabulary because today is a practice. So one more time with our partners, remember, you're going to write it. You can write it in a Word document. You can write it in another document, wherever you like, a, a notepad, but your focus, your objective is to defend your opinion and to have minimum 300 words. Careful with your punctuation, careful with your spelling and all of those other things. Before we begin, any questions? Many minutes we have. Uh, we're going to put the idea in total is 30 minutes because uh -huh. it's like the exam, Luis, but Remember, never, never go to the maximum. Always in your mind, in your organization, focus 25 minutes. I want five minutes to check. I want five minutes to erase. I want five minutes. I know I repeat the same idea four or five times. I want five minutes to make my writing better. And this exercise, what is your advice? Uh, to talk 10 minutes and then my advice write. Is my advice is always take the first few minutes to organize how you want to write. How are you going to describe? First, as an example, let's take a look. One more time, we go through it. As an example, your opinion. First, you need to make a decision. Do you agree or you don't agree? Okay. So in the first paragraph, always, always in the first paragraph, you make an introduction. As an example, um, well, there are many teachers around the world. Being the best teacher requires a lot of work. Uh, some people believe that being the best teacher has to be the most knowledgeable. Others feel that you need to be the most passionate. I think that the best teacher is, there's my introduction. Mm -hmm. And then my paragraph number two, I defend my opinion. Paragraph number three, I give the ideas that go against my opinion. And paragraph number four, I write my summary. I write uh, the reasons of all of it, summarizing it and making sure that it's right. 
the most important is first that you are clear what you want to say. Okay. And then from that, it's like a little, it's like a step. First you do this, then this, then this, and then woof, in 25 minutes, you have 300 words. Mm. Okay. Okay. Any other questions? It's not easy. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. But we're going to focus. The time is going to be 25 minutes. That way you get used to having to stop before the maximum. Having to stop before and then the other five minutes, the time for you to review. Okay. All right. Let's go.
Okay. Now, we still have five minutes, just like on the exam, you still would have five minutes. What we're going to do is we're going to do five minutes for you to check, not to write more, for you to check what you wrote, see the vocabulary, check the punctuation, the verb, the past tense, the present, the different things. We're going to use the five minutes to check. In the chat, you can see my email, okay? So in the chat, one more time is my email. You're going to have five minutes. And then in five minutes, you're going to send me to my email. You're going to send me what you wrote so that I can read, I can check, I can make corrections and I can send it back to you, okay? When you finish in five minutes, then we're going to start thinking about this one. You're going to start thinking about the answering this question, question number two, comparing and contrasting uh, things that you would find satisfying for future generations. Okay, what life? Okay. So in this moment, five minutes to check your work, make corrections, change, add, eliminate, whatever. But then you are going to send me in the email the paragraph, the what you wrote, and then continue working. You ready? And the moment, teacher, do you need a, the email? It, my email is in the yeah. chat. Yes, yes. Yeah, I know. I know. Uh, and no, you have five minutes. Five minutes. In five no, minutes. Because, okay, good. Because remember, the exam is 30 minutes, and now you have okay. 25 minutes for writing. So in, in theory, you only have five minutes for correcting. That way okay. you can see how, why it's important those five minutes. When we finish, when we finish in five minutes, we come back and only we talk because I look at the, I just saw the time. The time is a little bit. So only five minutes, correct. And then we come back to the group. Okay.
Hey, Ivania. Hello, teacher. Did you send it? Yes. Mm, let me check. I'm checking in this moment my email to see who I received. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have Ivania's, I have Guadalupe. Mm. I don't. I don't have Luis, I don't have Miguel. Yeah, I, 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 I am, I am arriving. I, I send it already, teacher. Okay, let me talk again. When the finish, I send you. I Luis, remember you. You have to be careful in the exam. There you have, yes, Miguel, I got it, I got it. All right, good. I'm on it, teacher. Uh-huh, let's see. Nuri, I didn't get yours. Did you send it, Nuri? No, I'm on it. Okay, okay, all right, no yeah. problem. My my mistake was uh, writing my notebook on oh, my computer. Oh, okay, t okay, no yeah. problem, Luis. no problem. I you can make... I can send you my photograph if you want. No problem, I believe you, I believe you. Mm -hmm. <sighs> now, remember guys, what is the minimum? I'm looking at some of these writings and okay, some of them are nice. Some of them are a little short. The idea is we need to practice. If for you it's difficult the writing, um, then you need to practice more, more details, more adjectives, more examples of what you want to say. But it's not a problem. The important is we identify an area to improve. That is the most important. Okay. We, like I said, we don't have time to practice the second writing, but now we understand. I'm going to read it. I'm going to write some um, things that you need to correct, okay? And that way is for you. If something is, for example, if I see something in general for the class, I will say in the class. But if only, for example, only Luis make the mistake, I send Luis the email and tell him, Luis, be careful with this or this. All right, guys. All right, good. Before we continue, any other questions? Anything that you're not sure about? Oh, no, I, I, I don't have questions. No questions. All right. Uh -huh. My question is only for Ivania. Ivania, you look frozen. <laughs> yeah, it's frozen. Right? It's frozen. No. Yeah. It's for unblocked. A moment. For Are a you moment. okay there? Can you, can you hear us, Ivania, or no? Yes, teacher, but okay. I don't know, maybe my connection. No, uh -huh, no problem. Only because one moment I saw you and then suddenly you were. <laughs> <laughs> and I say, hey, I don't think it's natural. I don't think Ivania stopped only in the, mo <laughs> in the moment. <laughs> yes. No, but can we get the connection? Okay, okay. But you could hear everything. No problem. No questions? Yes. Oh. Yes, I hear everything. Okay. Well then guys, thank you so much for connecting. Remember, we only connect tomorrow. If you don't connect tomorrow, the next class is on Thursday because Wednesday, no class. So tomorrow is the class, but if you cannot connect, it's going to be the class on Thursday. Okay. 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 Thank you, Tish. Thank you so much. Have a nice night. Have a nice night, everybody. Bye, guys. Thank you. Cool. Have a nice night. You too.